in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Okay, this question from Shaykh Mukhtar. How do we show or explain to people the need for religion in life if they feel like their life is going well? Each one has the freedom to make a choice. And those choices we make have consequences. The choices we make in this life about matters of this life have consequences in this life at the level of a court of law, at the level of political consequences, at the level of economic consequences, at the level of social and family consequences, and at the level of divine consequences. So yes, we can make choices we want, but what we are saying, and those who believe in God are saying, those who believe in the finality of the message of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam are saying that God has communicated with us. He created us, and yes, he put within us potentials and abilities to discern general virtue and general good from general evil and general, uh, and general bad. But there are many, many things we are by ourselves intellectually and rationally and personally unable also to discern. God in his loving mercy has expressed himself to us and communicated to us more of knowledge through divine revelation so that we can expedite our pursuit of happiness in this world in a fuller sense, in a more noble sense, and most importantly, to be safe from punishment in the hereafter and in the hereafter to be in the company of the divine. Religion is an essential part in completing the already positive, virtuous, good potential that God created in us. As Muslims, we do not believe that we were created evil. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us that we were created with the potential of virtue and of good, and revelation is a, a stimulus, if you will, to bring out that good that resides within us by God's creation, which we call the fitrah of every human being. Wallahu ta'ala alam.